I want to spice things up so she desires me again. Or one extreme story was, it's been 30 years and she's telling me that she really hasn't liked sex the entire marriage. Hey, I'm Jeff. This is Miss Cynthia Cruz, the only woman allowed on our The C-Note show. Thanks for being here, Cynthia. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate Cynthia's professional perspective. You bring a whole new way of looking at what women desire, how we can uh, understand the subcommunication, even though we're leading for our own selves. And we, you know, watching this, it's not always about her loving everything that we say. It's okay for her to sometimes feel uncomfortable. That's a part of tension. And it gives us a great uh, feeling of what makes a woman feel special? What does she really desire within relationship with a man, with an intimacy of a man? Okay. She doesn't want fucking boring autopilot. She doesn't want uh, you know, to sit back and think, oh, now that I'm married, I don't have to worry about courting her, dating her, or anything like that. She doesn't want flatline energy. She wants emotional range. She wants intrigue and conspiracy between the two of you. She wants mystery. She wants adventure. She wants, she wants emotional feelings. And today, Cynthia, on the Cino show in the Sexcapade spot, you talked about saying her name. And I'd love for you to share how that's a pattern break. That was a huge thing, a key for me that I heard what you said. It's a pattern break in the relationship. So talk with us about what does that mean, a pattern break, and why is saying her name so important? Yeah, so a pattern break is, you know, in relationship, we get into grooves of patterns and literally our brain patterns get into grooves and habits of interacting with each other and that's good that's great evolutionarily that is gets things done quickly and and uh efficiently but it's it's kind of the opposite of uh excitement and really letting our partner know that we see them and and being with them is about them as the person and not just this life habits that we get into. So even when you're a leader and you go in and you meet new people and a group of people and you are the one who remembers their name and says that name to that person, automatically that person's brain is going to go into place of neuroplasticity. Like this is new. I'm seen and this person really takes me as unique and they're interested in me. So when even if you've been married for 30 years with your woman and you use her name in new and different ways, whether it's in the kitchen or making love to her and saying her name or whispering it into her ear, her brain chemistry is literally going to shift. It's going to be something new and exciting. And even in just the tenor and the vibration of your voice saying her name, she's going to feel your emotional resonance with her. And she's going to feel that about in this moment, it's about her. And it's about how you feel about her, that uniqueness, that specialness that is being seen can literally wake her body up out of habit and into excitement and arousal and anticipation. Absolutely. That's a primal response. She has no control over that primal limbic system response of awakening her of that pattern break. She might have story come over the top of it, which is the content for another video. What happens if she's not accepting that within relationship from me? If I'm saying her name and she seems to be shaming me for that. We'll talk about that another day. But let me give you another cherry on top here in a second of some advanced homework of how you can work on this away from interactions with her so you're more prepared within your own self. This key, what we do with Great Men Move Mountains is about you being on fire for yourself in life and having her be on fire for the relationship. So I'll give you a cherry on top here in a second. If you're not yet a part of our free private Facebook group, go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash Facebook and join us, be a part of this tribe, learn these skills, get first access to tons of awesome videos and relationships and conversations with other men. We have retreats all around the country and all around the world when the world opens up again, right? Some are get yourself there for free and some are paid retreats. One we have is an advanced pistol defense training we do in March. That one's already full for this year. So I'll be announcing some other ones as we go. So here, let me give you the cherry on top of this advanced work around. I want to use her name. I want she, her to feel desired by me. 
I need you to write this in your journal and then say it out loud to yourself in a voice memo. And here's some things I want you to cut out. I want you to cut out BS boring adjectives. Okay, so Mark Twain said, I'm gonna paraphrase, right? Get rid of the adjectives. So she's an awesome woman. Well, awesome means nothing. I want you to describe what awesome means. You have a great relationship. That really means nothing. What does great mean? What does great feel like to you? And as you're in version two, version three, start to underline where you're going to inflect your voice, where you're gonna bring your voice deep, where you're going to pause on a certain word and then practice it again into your phone, right? What do you want from relationship? Why does relationship mean so much to you? Why does passion and intimacy, why are those something that you value and you want in your life and you want in your relationship, okay? Now don't go and dump these on her, that's not the point. The point is you must practice and know what that is for you outside of trying to fumble through with her, okay? You must know that and then practice. And so one other small hack is when you see her in the morning in the kitchen, just use her name. The first time you see her in the day, it might be good morning, Cynthia, right? Which is a lot better than, <laughs> hi, did you do the dishes and what's for breakfast and are the kids dressed, okay, <laughs> right? Have a little window of intimacy that's just between the two of you first thing in the morning. Cynthia, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Go move mountains one step at a time, guys.